What's going on, guys? My name is Soroka Bose. Welcome to another video. Now, this video is about a strategy or tactic guide. I'm not too sure what name should I call it. So please feel free to give me some suggestions in the comments below. Now, in Warhammer Battlefield, we often run into a situation where my faction doesn't stand a chance against um, the other faction's infantry counterparts. Let's take Empire for example. Great swords are so bad that they will get demolished by things like Black Orcs, Executioners, Swordmasters, and they even trade really bad to some cheap counterparts. So the question is, what should I do? And how can I pull off a victory without using a pure cancer kiting army with heaps of outriders and uh, heaps of calves? So I hope this guide will help you guys a lot in this department and let's dive straight into it. The strategy is using cheap, ideally spearsmen or any other cannon fodder units and you position them in such a way that only a few of them will get engaged by enemy infantry. Ideally a vertical formation will achieve this. After your spearsmen engaged or pinned down enemy elite infantry, you have so many different ways to handle the situation. In this guide, I will show you guys some very effective ways that I personally love to use and helped me to achieve a victory in so many dicey situations. Situation number one. As you can see here, I got a spearsman and a great sword unit. Neither of them will stand a chance against Black Ox in a melee straight up fight. And as you can see on the screen, the unit cuts. Now, let's watch what's gonna happen next. So, I quickly, as, a, as the spear is about to get engaged, I quickly peel my gristles on the side, and then further peel them behind the black ox into the reel, trying to get a real charge. And, which is about to happen now. As you can see here, Blackhawk's AI actually did a pretty decent job uh, noticed the situation and countercharged into my great source. But fear not, they gonna get quickly taken care of by uh, together with my spears and my great swords charged from the back. As you can see here, we got a full surround onto those Blackhawks. Their morale is dropping very fast. They quickly lose their will to fight and uh, down they go. Now, situation number two. When you have a handgunner unit and you have a spearsman unit against a black hawk unit watch what's gonna happen now so as you can see black hawks are about to get in range of the handguns normally if you have a standard deployment your spears will most likely in the way but watch what happens here you can get a clear fire solution onto those black hawks dropping their health to almost half health before they even engage in melee and then you can just wrap around and into a better fire solution, as you can see here, shoot those black hawks on the side, and there's no friendly fire whatsoever. And then you can adjust your spearsman a little bit, like I did here, and then fire more volleys into those black hawks. Yeah, of course, handgunners being handgunners, a little bit unreliable from time to time. And simple as that. Situation number three. Artillery piece works great with this strategy as well. As you can see here, I got a Hell Blaster body gun and I have a Spearsman unit. And if you guys can see that without the spears in the way, Hell Blasting Volley Gun just 
blast those Blackhawks volley after volley after volley. It's just really beautiful to watch. And then as the melee engaged, the Blackhawks are already kind of wavering. And you just need to adjust your line a little bit. Try to get maybe one or two more volleys into those Blackhawks. They're gonna rout in no time. And of course you have to be careful about the fire solution. Uh, don't make mistakes uh, like I did here. Situation number 4. When you pair cannon fodder units with short cavalry, chariots, monsters, or anything with good charge bonus and faster moving than infantry. As you can see here, I brought a demigraph knight unit. I just cycle charged those black oak units three times before they even made into the engagement with the spears. As you can see here. With the spears out of the way, my demigraph knights were roaming freely and cycle charge back and forth, back and forth into those black hawks. This is my favorite application of the tactic. It never gets out watching shock cavalry decimate infantry. Those were four of the most basic applications of the tactic, which helped me a lot and gained countless victories in the past. I am sure as wise generals like you guys will come up with your own applications and make it work just like I did. If you guys enjoyed this tactic guide and wish to learn more about Warhammer multiplayer, I release new live ladder battles videos, battle replay commentary videos, as well as battle guide videos quite often in my channel. Be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up, they will help me big time. Thanks for watching and have a good one.